सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स द ऑडियो बुक पूर्वी टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ इंग्लिश फॉर ग्रेड सिक्स पेज नंबर एटी फाइव यूनिट थ्री नर्चरिंग नेचर चैप्टर टू वॉट अ बर्ड थॉट लेट एस डू दीज एक्टिविटीज बिफोर वी रीड वन Look at the picture and discuss what you see in the picture with your teacher and classmates. Think of a time when you worked hard. What did you do then? How did it help you? How did it make you feel? Also, discuss in groups. Two. Where are the places you see birds? What do you see the birds doing? Three. Do you want to fly like a bird? Why? 4. What does a baby bird think about its world? 5. Read the sentences and replace the underlined words with their correct meanings. There's a box at the bottom of this page with three headings: serial number, sentences, meanings. Serial number A, sentence The color of the feather was not dark but pale. Serial number B. The butterfly moved lightly and quickly onto the flower. Serial number C. Finally, I finished my bird painting after trying many times. D. The pretty flowers were the prize for the gardener's hard work. Meanings. At last, light labor fluttered now match the meanings with the sentences in sentence a the highlighted word is pale in sentence b the highlighted words are moved lightly and quickly in sentence c the highlighted word is finally in sentence d the highlighted word is hard work There's a picture of a tree on the right-hand middle of this page with birds sitting and chirping. Page number eighty-six. Let us read. I lived first in a little house and lived there very well. I thought the world was small and round and made of pale blue shell. I lived next in a little nest. nor needed any other i thought the world was made of straw and nestled by my mother one day i fluttered from my nest to see what i could find i said the world is made of leaves i have been very blind at length i flew beyond the tree quite fit for grown up labors i don't know how the world is made and neither do my neighbors on the right hand side of this page there is a green tree where there is a nest and a bird is flying out of it page number 87 let us discuss one read the poem again identify the main idea of each stanza there are two extra given a the bird steps out into the world b the bird lived happily in a small world c the bird becomes blind due to leaves d the bird flies away as an adult e the bird is unhappy with the straw nest f the bird lived in a cozy nest with its mother there are blank spaces in front of each sentence fill in the blank spaces 2 look at the pictures a to d and write the matching line from the poem for each there are four pictures in the middle of this page from a to d and write the matching line from the poem for each picture picture a egg picture b there's a bird sitting with its babies in a nest picture c there's a bird sitting on a tree branch picture d there's a bird flying from a branch 3 answer the following with a word from the poem 
and check the answers with your partner. A. What was the shape of the bird's first house? Dash, O, dash, dash, dash. Complete the word. B. What was the bird's second nest made of? Dash, dash, R, dash, dash. Complete the word. C. What did the bird see when it came out of its nest? L dash 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 E dash D. What did the bird do at the end? Dash 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 W. 4. Now recite the poem aloud along with your teacher and classmates. Page number 88 let us think and reflect. 1. Write whether the following sentences are true or false. A. The bird changed its house two times. B. The neighbours tell the bird about the world. There are blank spaces in front of each sentence. Write true or false. 2. Read the following lines from the poem and answer the questions. A. I thought the world was made of straw and nestled by my mother. 1. Who lived in the nest along with the baby bird? 2. Complete the following by choosing the correct option. The bird thought the world was made of straw because... Dash. A. It lived in a straw hut. B. Its nest was made of straw. C. Its mother fed straw to it. D. There was straw all around. 3. Which word tells us that the baby bird was warm and comfortable? B. I said, the world is made of leaves. I have been very blind. 1. Why did the bird think the world was made of leaves? 2. What does the set of words I said mean? Options are A. Flew B. Shouted C. Spoke D. Cry 3. Fill in the blanks to complete the sentence. The bird felt that it had been very blind because it could not dash, dash, dash the leaves from dash, n, dash, 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 e, the nest. 3. Why did the baby bird think that its first world was small, round and blue? Page number 89 4. Where did the bird go when it fluttered from its straw nest? 5. What quality did the bird say it had when it flew away? 6. Who do you think were the bird's neighbours? Why do you think so? Discuss. Let us learn. 1. Let us write some rhyming words. One has been done for you. There is a box on this page with the heading Words from the Poem. With the columns Stanza 1, Stanza 2, Stanza 3, Stanza 4. Stanza 1. The words are Well, Shell. New rhyming words Fell. Likewise, you have to write the rhyming words under the stanza 2, stanza 3 and stanza 4 in the space provided. Now, complete a new stanza with rhyming words at the end of each line. I fly high and I fly low, but one thing I surely... K dash dash dash. Whenever I wish to rest, my little nest is the... Dash, 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 T. Complete the words. 2. The poet uses words like pale, blue, round, straw and little to describe the bird's nest. Read a few more describing words. There's a box on the bottom of this page with some important words. Pointed, small, green, Wooden, thin, hanging, brown, round. Page number 
90. Now use the describing words given in the box to create six sentences based on the given picture. In the picture, a nest is hanging from the branch of a tree where the bird is trying to enter the nest. A dash B dash C dash D dash E dash F dash Fill in the blanks. Let us listen. You will listen to a short poem. As you listen, fill in the missing words. You can listen to the poem more than once. Refer to page 102 for transcript. I am a parrot. My name is Paro. My feathers are dash, 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 G, dash, dash, and they glow. In the morning, I spread my wings, dash, 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 around and see wonderful things. Come with me through the skies, so dash, L, dash, dash, to places old and places new. Among the dash, dash, E, dash, dash, where the breeze is light, many new S, T, dash, 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 S, O, what a sight. Let us speak. Speak with your classmates about which bird you would like to be. Include the following points. Which bird are you? I am dash. Page number 91. What do you look like? I am dash in colour. I am a big slash small bird. I have dash. Where do you live? I live in dash. It is where dash. What do you do during the day? I dash. I also dash. Do you have any message for humans? I want to tell the humans dash. Let us write. 1. Read how the bird perceived its world. My world was small, round and light blue at first. After that, my world was warm and comfortable. It was made of straw. In this world, I could only see leaves whenever I stepped out. In the end, my world became big. It had the sky and the earth as a part of it. 2. Now, discuss with your teacher and classmates how you think the world would look to the following. A. A baby. B. A fish. 3. Now, write five sentences each for both A and B in your notebooks. You can take help from the example given in 1. Let us explore. 1. The bird's first home was made of a shell. Later, its home was among leaves and made of straw. Look at your home carefully and make a list of all the materials it is made of. Why do you think our homes are not made of straw? If you had to own a home of your choice, what would it look like and what materials would you like to use? How is a home different from a house? Discuss with your classmates and teacher. Page number 92 Look at the list of some workers who build houses. Find out the work they do and write as given in the example. You can think of other workers and add them too. There's a box in the middle of this page with two headings. Workers, their work. Under the heading workers, there are Five examples written. Example, Mason lays bricks and stones. 1. Painter. 2. Electrician. 3. Plumber. 4. Carpenter. 5. Architect. 6. Blank. 7. Blank. There are blank spaces in front of each word. Fill in the blanks. 2. 
check out different kinds of nests and homes the birds make. Have you seen any? Discuss these types of nests with your teacher and classmates. There are four pictures of different nests here. In the first picture, there is a nest on the branch of a tree where three eggs are laid. In the second picture, two nests are hanging from the branches of a tree. In the third picture, there is a big hole in the trunk of a tree which has been used as a nest by the bird. In the fourth picture, the nest is made by using the big leaves of the tree. Purvi, you were just listening to this audiobook, textbook of English for grade 6. Narration, Babla Kocher and Richa Sayal. Technical coordination, Bati Langlingdo. Sound recordist, Manju Kumari. Assistance in production, Soumya Malik. Directed and produced by Vimalesh Chaudhary. This audiobook is presented to you by CIET NCERT, New Delhi, India.